All right, folks, we're back. Not we, maybe we, me, I'm back. Maybe you've been with me before, but I'll be talking about blue collar leadership today. And today we've we made it up to uh, chapter 12 of 30. And chapter 12 is, the future is in you now. Subtitle, if you don't choose your future, someone else will. That's pretty strong right there. And the opening quote is, there's nothing you have to do. We all have the power to make a decision that will direct us to a new destination. Each of us can make a choice that will change our life. So what do I mean when I say the future is in you now? That's kind of a, maybe it don't make sense when you think about it. The future is in you now. How, how can that be? And what I'm really trying to say in that chapter is, your choices determine your future. If you don't believe that, Start making some really bad choices today and see if those choices don't determine your future. It won't determine all of your future, but it'll determine most of your future. You can start making some really, really good choices and create a better future. You can keep, keep making the same choices. You know, a lot of people are resistant to change. People hate change. I'm telling you, change is your future your best friend, because everybody else hates change. I love change. So especially if you think about this at work, choosing to deal with change, that's a choice in a positive way or a negative way. You can leverage yourself. And Rhea and I have a book called Change Happens, Leading Yourself Effectively, or excuse me, Leading Yourself and Others Through Change. And uh, I'll be doing this kind of video series with that book at some point. But... I just want to throw that in there. When we're talking about the future is in you now, everything is changing. And if you think about it at work, the leaders are having to change it to make everything better, to stay competitive. If those leaders don't do it, they'll get rid of those leaders and find a new leader that will do it. Or the company will go under and nobody will have a job. So the sooner you start to realize and deal with change effectively, you're going to rise to the top. We talked about this a little before, but all the people who resist change, they're going to be out there whining. People who embrace change, leverage change, lead change, support change, those people are going to be shining. Who do you think is going to have more influence with the leaders who are responsible for moving the organization forward? The shiners or the whiners? It's common sense, right? But it ain't common practice. So that's the short lesson on this one today is the future is in you now, just like this book. Maybe you're watching these lessons. Maybe this is the first lesson, but uh, it's a choice you can make to start reading, growing, and developing yourself. If you want to check out this book, go to bluecollarleaders.com, and again, you can download the first five chapters of this book and my other Blue Collar Leadership book. You can also listen to a five-minute audio clip, and there's a link there if you want to uh, purchase the audio book. So the future's in you now. What kind of future do you want to create?